they have to immediately stop eating all the foods that their cancer cells love. Gee, what a novel concept. If my cancer cell loves it, I probably shouldn't be eating it. Okay, then you have to teach them what those foods are. Cancer cells, and this is, this is not an opinion now. This is documented medical fact. Cancer cells are sugar metabolic cells. Cancer cells love sugar. And for any physician that doesn't know that cancer cells love sugar, that physician needs to immediately lose his or her license. And the reason is because they know that the way we find metastases around the body is with a positron emission tomograph, a PET scan. What is a PET scan? You radio label sugar, so we now have radioactive glucose. We inject it into the person's body. The cancer cells go, oh, my favorite food, thank you. They gobble it up. Now the, the tumors are all radioactive and they glow on the, on the tomograph, on the PET scan. So it's used in their diagnostic tool. And so for them not to know this is the most ignorant thing that you can possibly have. So don't worry about your food. Yeah, each, each you know, you're dying anyway. You know, we don't know how many months you have left to live. So eat your cookies, eat your candy, you know, have your milkshakes. Don't worry about that. Um, and they just did a PET scan and they know that they're telling the person to feed the cancer cells and make them as happy as they can be, which is really, really stupid. You know, we all know sugar is not good for cancer, but unfortunately, a lot of good oncologists don't uh, practice that. And the patients have no knowledge of importance of diet. And we all know that sugar is directly affecting the cancer growth and indirectly through insulin resistance and, you know, getting more insulin in their body is encouraging the cancer growth. But usually the oncologists don't want to address that. And what do oncologists have in their waiting room and their chemotherapy infusion room? Cookies and Tootsie Rolls when my patient, just patient, just told me. You cannot have sugar because sugar feeds cancer. We know that a cancer cell has 96 receptor sites and a normal cell has four. I have been to hospitals, this real major hospitals that they treat cancer patients. And amazingly, when you look at their food menu, you see five pages of desserts, and some of them even include wine in their, uh, in their menus. Alcohol is a no-no. Alcohol feeds sugar. Sugar feeds cancer. That's how cancer eats. To me, that means that we are pushing them to die faster, quicker, and we are promoting their death. In other words, we are promoting their illnesses. <laughs>